Welcome to another Bleistift video and today I want to look at the Koinur 992 lead pointer made in Italy. I looked at the Stadler lead pointer in the past which is specifically made for the Mars Technico pencils but the problem is that uh, basically it only works well with Mars Technico pencils because so the lead holders I should say because other lead holders have a different diameter so you can't easily put them in the lead pointer the Koinur here I'll show you solves this problem by having different let's call them adapters that you can click in here at the top it also comes here with the placement <coughs> um, form bits, you know, to clean the the lead after sharpening. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, they seem very similar to uh, cigarette filters. Now, when I visited the Stadler factory, I thought about it on my blog um, about this visit. I also saw them having. Sim uh, this kind of material, which is this very similar to what you find in in cigarette filters, <coughs> or in this case, and this was being used basically to to fill the bodies of of these pens and then you know soak up the ink that is being used in these pens. So that seems to be a, a multi-purpose material in the stationery industry. Yeah. How does it work? Same way as, as other lead pointers. There are two common types. They're the ones that work a bit like, like a sharpener with a blade. And there are those where basically, you know, you extend the lead. This mechanism will, will guide the lead and you then basically um, twist the pencil around here yeah, and you you wear down the lead and uh, shape it how, how you need it okay so those different adapters they have different diameters yeah this is this one has the biggest inner diameter and then it gets smaller and the point here is that the pencil you know shouldn't wobble around otherwise you know if the pencil wobbles around the 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 point wobbles around and you don't have a precise angle and you might waste material so this holds the pencil in place so if i look uh, this is suitable this and uh, this is a bit big i, I think they would both Work. So in this case, uh, I could sharpen this lead. Uh, it's it's still quite sharp, but here in in typical lead pointer fashion, I can have a not so not so acute point, and I can have a more acute point. Yeah, in this case, basically the lead is just extended more or less. Uh, Yeah, and now I twist the pencil. Yeah, this is this is the long insert, I guess, for this pen. Let's do the slightly bigger one. Yeah, and now you can hear it working. Yeah, and we wear the material down. So. Here we got the Cavendash fix pencil and I can't put this one in the Stadler lead pointer but I can put this one in this old Kohinoor lead pointer. It just fits. I can twist it and wear the, wear the point down. The only thing is because it's a bit tight here yeah, the the paint on the body got a bit shiny, so I don't know whether repeated use 
would wear down the paint too fast. Here's my nice brass Caveco special. I also got this one as a mechanical pencil and it got a nice patina, but this one stayed in the box so the it still has a nice shine to it but it wouldn't fit with this adapter i could of course use it completely without adapter but it's a bit loose so you know i guess i could always try to pull it the pen to the outside then we have a less acute uh, point yeah, if you imagine how the point extends or we I could push it inside we would have a slightly more acute point um, let's see whether we can get it to work Let, let's explore oh, yeah. whether the lead actually ends up here in this compartment yeah you can see the lead comes out here being held in the right position. Okay, let's see whether I can sharpen this. So we, no, doesn't start well. Okay, yeah, so that worked. Now I have a much more acute um point than before let's clean it let's get rid of the dust Wait, well maybe the refills i got maybe they are a bit um too small yeah but it certainly works so that's a nice old-fashioned lead pointer it says with large base but i guess that got lost on mine uh, it's also available with a multi-purpose cradle clamp. Yeah. And here's the manual. Okay. Yeah, it's a nice little device. I'll put it on my desk. Um, yeah, unfortunately, lead holders. Uh, a bit out of fashion now so it's more difficult to find them these days but you can still find them uh, yeah this is the latest one i got from kaweco they also offer colored leds which is nice um, it's a nice writing experience you know you can produce a very very fine point and unless you have a very soft lead if you have H, B, or F, you know it would all. It will also hold the point fairly well, and you know if you want to, you can write even finer than with a 0.2 millimeter uh, mechanical pencil. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.